Hey guys, I just got back from the Reds game, and as I film this, it is Saturday, April 25th, 2015. And uh, the Reds game, unfortunately, was rained out. Uh, Mother Nature did not seem to want the Reds to play today, and it rains all morning, all afternoon, and it's supposed to rain uh, all night. So the uh, game that was supposed to be played against the Cubs was rained out. And it was supposed to be day two of the 1990 uh, World Series celebration, since it's the uh, 25th anniversary of the Reds going water wire that year and winning it all. So uh, they did do that. They had the uh, pregame ceremony uh, where they introduced, where Marty Brenneman introduced all the 1990 team or uh, not yet, 1990 team members who were able to make it to uh, Cincinnati for the event. Uh, the only two people, uh, big name people that weren't able to make, or actually three. Big name people that weren't able to make it uh, were Billy Bates. He was the uh, guy who scored the uh, winning run or in uh, Game Two when uh, Joe Oliver hit that single. And uh, but uh, Tony Perez, who was uh, part of the Big Red Machine and the first base coach for the 1990 team, and Lou Pinella, Sweet Lou, uh, they weren't able to make it, but they had video messages and uh, they were played on the uh, scoreboard before the game was supposed to start and it was really cool seeing all the 1990 team guys there and uh, I didn't I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video but on Friday the day before they wore the team wore the 1990 throwback uniforms which looked really cool and uh, yeah I don't know what else they're going to do uh, for the game with the 1990 team since as I said it got rained out but uh, before the celebration part they had uh, like the red carpet again where the 1990 team would walk down so I got a couple pictures of that Unfortunately, they weren't allowed to sign autographs, so I couldn't get any. But uh, also, another big part of today's celebration was the Nasty Boys Triple Bobblehead, which I did get. Um, I got there at 10.30 in the morning uh, with my girlfriend, and we waited seven hours before they finally canceled the game at 5.30. And uh, yeah, it was cold, it was raining, and it sucked. And they kept saying they would start the game later and later. It went from 3.30 to 4.30, and then at 5.30 they just called it. So uh, hopefully I can exchange my tickets for another bobblehead game. I'm trying to get the Devin Mezzarocco bobblehead ticket, so maybe I can exchange it for that. I'll have to I'll let you guys know in my next video. If all goes according to plan, then the next video should be another bobblehead unboxing video, but we'll see. But uh, before I get to unboxing the bobblehead, uh, my birthday is this week, so my girlfriend got me an early uh, birthday gift. It's a uh, all-star pennant. Let's see the all-Star logo, July 14th, 2015, and I'll start there. And uh, yeah, it looks really cool. It is definitely going to uh, go on my wall with my other pennants. And uh, I don't know if you can tell I got a bobblehead shirt on because it was a bobblehead game. So without any uh, further ado, let's unbox this thing and see how it looks. Um, the bobblehead is pictured on the box on the very front. Looks cool. Hopefully the bobblehead itself looks as good as the picture does. Um, on this side, it says, uh, don't miss these Super Saturday giveaways for 2015. All the different bobbleheads are given out. And see the Devin Mazzarocco bobblehead I want to get in uh, August. As I already have a batch of Hamilton and Larkin and a Phillips. And uh, this is the uh, little biograph, uh, biographical information on the Nasty Boys on the back. With a picture of the team when they won the 1990 World Series. Here is um, just phone numbers you can call to get Reds tickets. And uh, the top says sponsor PNC. And the bottom of the box, the Impact Promotions, they did all the bobbleheads this year. So, um, the Nasty Boys were part of the 1990 team members who were in attendance at uh, today's game. And so were Barry Larkin, Pawnee, Eric Davis, Billy Hatcher, a lot of big name guys were there. And uh, please say this one is packaged in styrofoam, not plastic, which is always a good sign. As styrofoam is much better in protecting bobbleheads than the plastic. Wow. Like, I, I've seen pictures of this since, I think they were promoting this since December, uh, around Reds Fest. And uh, I saw pictures of it online, I saw an actual version of it on the news, and then... Somebody had one at the game, one of the workers did, yesterday, and it looked cool, but seeing it in person, it is, it is amazing, to say the least. Um, definitely the best bobblehead the team 
uh, has given out this year. And it's only this is only the second Baba they've given out, but it is, in my opinion, there's no other Baba that can top it this year. Huh? So here it is, the uh, Nasty Boys Triple Bobblehead. You got uh, Randy Meyer, Rob, Randy Meyer, Rob Dibble, and uh, Norm Charlton on there. And then you can see in the back on this black thing it says uh, the Nasty Boys, which is awesome. And uh, their names on the front, all three of them. White letters on the red uh, half circle base. And on the back, uh, it says uh, 1990 World Series Champions. And then all three of them, it looks like, have the World Series patches um, on their sleeves. And it bobbles really well. I'm holding it, and <laughs> they're shaking like crazy. But yeah, this is a sick bobblehead. One of the best of us have ever given out. Like, I thought the All-Star one last year the team gave out was phenomenal. This is just, this is up there being as good of a bobblehead that the Reds have ever given out. And uh, it, it is definitely going to be a sick part of my collection. So, I'm glad to have another 1990 uh, Reds bobblehead in there. All three nasty boys. Bobbles really well. And this is phenomenal. Uh, well done, Reds. You guys knocked this one out of the park. So, uh, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to uh, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. And check out my website, cincyfanzone.blogspot.com. This bobblehead will be added to the bobblehead page, which has every bobblehead in my collection on that page. And also check out the pictures I took from last night and today. Uh, despite the rain, I did get some pretty cool pictures. So make sure you check out the picture page on cincyfanzone.blogspot.com. And uh, stay tuned. Because as I said earlier, if everything goes according to plan next week, there should be another bobblehead unboxing video. And uh, keep a lookout for future unboxing videos and bobblehead reviews. I have a ton finished that I've not yet published. So make sure you have an eye out for that. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.